Hello and welcome. I'm Elias Hassan115, but you can call me Matt. And this is part three of my walkthrough for Dishonored. And if you don't remember, we um, just joined the Loyalists, or we just met up with the Loyalists, and we went to what? Strange gravity. Hello, Corvo. Hello, mystery man. Life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. A oh, sweet blank. This is Assassin's Creed. We're taking the leap of faith. You cannot save her repeated. Look at me go. Make it. Oh, dude, this is weird. Can I take this. Wow, dude, that's messed up. He looks like that guy that we just talked to in the bar. Made it. Oh, it's a spy master. No weapons, you are lucky. I'm gonna go check this out. What the heck? Oh god. Dude, holy crap. Made it. In the days that follow, your trials will be great. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, Ew. molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes. No matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now and find another room. Okay then. Nope. Now people might wonder why you're carrying a heart around if you go into the streets, but you never know. Maybe that's just a thing. This great this game looks great. I don't wanna die. Don't die, Corvo. No, no, no. I was out of magic. I wasn't aware. Maybe I should be paying attention. Oh. Sweet. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. I can't 
Oh, I can get these though. Um, health is increased. Oh, dude, that's that's actually really cool. I'm actually gonna get that first. Save that rune. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Yeah, Corvo, that was no dream. Oh, dude. The trailer you have to, to break into the Golden Cat. Cool. I have to go find a room. That's right over there. And do the shit. Not my brightest move. Thought I could make it into the water. Okay, let's try that again. Oh. Yay. This time, this time I'm going to be jump into the water. I found the runes. Somewhere over there. Ah, I heard something. What was that? I heard like a hissing noise. Oh, there it is. I'll do that check. What's what's only level two levels? Okay, that's sweet though. Ah, deadly fish. So yeah, I can use blink when I'm in water. I made it. Try to put my weapons away. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose That's is a clear. quote I could use. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Do I get to kill the spy master first? Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. I'm close enough. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. 
Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. All right then. Another thing. Oh. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the help pits. Okay. Hello. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Yeah, thanks for bringing up the point that I failed at being a bodyguard. But yeah, I think I want to save the guy. Just ready to go. Just give the signal. Yeah, we're out. Yeah. the bigger streets and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the city watch is gang territory. And then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. So what to say you can go in the gang territory or the watch but we're going to figure that out next part because I'm going to stop recording here um, thanks for clicking on my video please rate and comment and if you enjoyed it that much favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys later see ya